letters of greeting, letters of pleading, letters of gossip, of friendship, of love. Checks for purchase, checks for payment, checks for deposit to account, checks for just about any amount, advertisements from the stores, hometown papers with all the scores, manuscripts, postscripts, notes, coats, thousands of votes, millions of quotes. <laughs> are the writingest people in the history of mankind. Well over 80 billion pieces of mail a year, and each year up 3 billion or so, a surging river of mail. century challenge of the postal department, find modern ways to help move the mail, move swiftly into the present, mechanize, computerize, modernize. The time for the new is now. Mail is vital. Everyone must help. Those who manufacture, those who trade, those who sell, those who buy, insurance, banking and stock market men, letter writers all. Of each 10 letters, eight are for business. 80% is business mail. Office buildings are factories where the product is mail. Improve the service and everyone gains. The post office and business working together can overcome problems of high rise proportions. Mail rooms for buildings, machinery to speed the internal flow. From city to city, to town and village, crossing the continent on pavement and rail, the river of mail is the economy's lifeblood. If it stopped flowing, so would prosperity. Mail began flying over 50 years ago. We've come a long way from Jenny to Jet. First class today gets first class service. All priority mail that's going long distance now travels by air. Hundreds of small towns get this new service from feeder lines and charter planes. With the mail flights come added passenger flights. independent spirit, the man in the street can help too. Mailing early in the day, using zip codes on all his mail. Taking advantage of innovations like self-service postal units, open 24 hours a day.
For the serviceman overseas, there's nothing quite equal to a letter from home. Wherever he is, the mail follows. The distance adds importance and meaning. Bridging that distance with the finest mail service ever is a big job for both the post office and the military. Keep the precious postal link unbroken means planning for new techniques and modern machines to handle the flood. Machines that can stack and cancel and sort. Machines that can read more swift than the eye. Giant computers that will measure, record, and predict. New tools, new ideas. A new postal service for the future. industry and government, the postal employee and you, working together, can bring change. And change is coming to cope with the flow.